Hello and welcome to Southern RPG. I am Sovereign. We're back in Soul Mars today in this typical British weather where everything's just pissing down on us and we haven't really got much uh, like visibility of what we're going to be doing today. But for luckily, for the most part, apart from two little things, we have a couple of things to do today. We need to start setting up our automation to get our leveling going for our NPCs on um, both the kilns and the furnaces. We also need to go and start farming up some metal and getting some metal started. And we need to get our NPCs out here logging to get the trees to be able to start making the charcoal for our XP farms, for the, the beginning XP farm and the Inga XP farm. Because we're going to be going into the copper tier very soon. Now I am on this character. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Say hello to Clifford the Big Red Dog, as voted for most in the comments in the previous video. So thank you for everyone who actually jumped in and said that. We do need a new name for our bow guy. We have 120 bow guy that we're going to be using to kill the saber tooth once we have our copper stuff all set up. Uh, he needs a name as well. And any of these guys, if you can think of any names for any of these guys, write it down in the comments. Put one, any of the 120s, any of the names here, laborer, builder, armor crafter, logger, any of them. Give them a name so we can get some names going. So first up, what we need to kind of do is set up our boxes. Now, I don't know why it's foggy in here. That's kind of annoying. It annoys me a little bit. I think it might be because there's a little bit of space in there. Maybe we do need to put some walls and doors in. I'm not quite sure how to fix that. Maybe it's the space between the ceilings and the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If anyone knows what that is, also let me down in the comments because I can't seem to fix it unless I fill this door in. Right, so we did change a few things up from the last video. We stuck some kilns in here. We got the kilns in. We got five, two on one side, three on the other. And it's enough space for people to walk through while they're working on it. And we have set up some boxes here by using the set storage items. And we got charcoal only in the semi-finished products for these two boxes. So all the charcoal that's being made here can be chucked in these boxes. Now, I am going to actually move something over here. We have... I'm going to move the uh, grinder right next to the charcoal cabinet because we're going to start needing to make some carbon powder and stuff soon when we get to the iron tier. We're going to need that. So I will move that over here eventually and we'll have some more boxes for carbon and, that, um, and the, the stuff we need to make the iron. Uh, over on this side, we have the five furnaces. We have these five furnaces. Uh, they're set up to have... On this side, we have all of the ores, and we've got two boxes of ores. Uh, I was going to put boxes of ore, like, either side, so they can just quickest route to get to them. But I don't need that many boxes right now. We don't have high rates. We don't have anything like that, so we don't need as many boxes. And the fact is, we probably need them to slow down a little bit on the crafting. Now, on this other end over here, we do have... Where is it? We have ingots in both of these boxes. So all of the ingots that are being made in here will just be stacked inside of these boxes here. We did actually move all of our guys over here. That took a hell of a long time. Even with the two moving two at a time way of migrating, they really need to try to fix a way of doing that. If you have two bonfires, you should be able to like click a button that says move home, for example, like move home to new destination and they set up, they pick up everything they can. They get armor and weapons, etc. And they start heading their way over there. Now, I think that would be a really, really cool addition because I'm going to actually after this video today, I'm going to make a video on what I think the game needs to just make it that little bit better. I think it will be the one of the that addition, for example, will be an amazing addition. I would absolutely love that among other things, but I'll leave that for the video later on. At the front door, we have our box full of axes because at the moment we're only logging and we're going to be manually getting the copper uh, copper and tin for the moment because I would like to go and get some other stuff in there. We have our armor and weapons in here, which we do have the bronze set in there, which I got from the boss in this place over here. The medium pit, not the medium pit, sorry, just a bit lower than that over here. The ancient ruins. The boss in this place drops legendary set of um bronze armor i should say bronze armor and it does drop legendary weapons of the bronze variety so you can go in there and you can farm all these guys they drop worn copper stuff but you can go in there and you can start breaking that stuff down with the uncrafter um and actually get two full sets there's two bosses in there now the chance for this the first boss is tier four and above there are chance for legendary but you can get the one below it uh which is more likely and then the second boss will drop you a full set of legendary armor and it's actually almost full on all of the uh, durability. It's only The only durability it's lost is what you use to attack it with. So the less you attack it, the less durability it takes. 
Uh, on this side over here, we have all our crafting tables. We've got the loom, we've got the armor forging table with the tier 1 upgrade, we've got the weapon forging table. I'm going to move this grinder. We have the potting table, we have the craftsman's bench on this side, and we have uh, the carpenter's bench. So the craftsman's bench I left over here, which I might move to the other side over here somewhere, so they can drop the tools off uh, like quite quickly. But because um, they, they go through the tools like nobody's business on standard durability. And on this side, we have the carpenter's table and the building workshop. Now, the building workshop, we still have all of our stuff that we were using to craft, uh, to build this place. We've got loads of stuff remaining. So I might do so a few little things like building the logging camp, which I have outside, but building a building around it so it doesn't get attacked or anything. Um, we're going to do something like that later on. And on this side, we have the animal stuff. So we have the butcher's table, the tanning rack, and we have the cooking stove. And I've just got the boxes here set up for animals on these two. And we have uh, the pots. Uh, we have medicines. We have the dishes and the food. And all of the food and dishes and stuff are all inside here. We've still got some broth left, but they do need some more. Um, I'm not on the 120 bow at the moment because I want to level them to 50 because in the next episode once we get because this episode we're going to have the bronze stuff ready we're going to start making our bronze armor and bronze weapons um, I'm going to be leveling up the craft uh, the armor crafter that we picked up the other day the 18 so I'm going to be sticking him I will stick the bow guy on one of them uh, we'll stick the kiln guy the weapon crafter which is a maybe a good weapon crafter because he's got the speeding up of weapons so we're going to level that guy um and i will level the gauntlet guy because we're using him to kill the slayer rex in the episode afterwards because we can use that for the bronze tip right so we have all of the base set up in here i did make a couple of beds up here just a quick one we're going to add this in here uh we got a couple of beds set up here just for us to sleep on and the guys downstairs to sleep on i will remove all of these boxes and if any of you can give me an idea write down in the comments what could be used for this upper section i'm going to put a portal in here eventually teleporter when we go to kill the slayer x that'll be something that we go to do that's what we're going there for to get is a teleporter i'll probably farm that two or three times to get a few teleporters set up because when we move to the iron tier we will be moving up to stone buildings which is what we're going to be crafting in this base like we did in the previous one we set up the thatch base we then started building the wooden stuff there and we moved the wooden base here what we're going to do here is start building the stone base here and then we'll move the stone base into a position that i have that's quite is actually really nice in a different place that i want to build a larger structure because here is a really great spot but there's not that much room right so da -da 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 -da. i need to get a pickaxe because we're going to go get some copper i need to get a weapon we're just going to be using our standard it's over this side i don't know where the bloody hell i'm going you're probably getting vertigo from me spinning around all the time i'm actually going to put this gear on right now um i was going to save it for the bow guy because it is really good but we're going to be crafting this on mass so i don't think it'll be a big issue uh, we have some HP there. I need to go and grab some um, medicine real quick before we set off. Where's the medicine box? Here we are. Uh, duh, 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 duh. We'll split that in. Uh, we'll just grab 30 of these. We don't need the really good ones right now. we got broth on us. Uh, I think that should be enough. What I do have over here are these guys. I am carrying some stuff. Actually, you know what? We haven't done for a while. We haven't upgraded any of these things. We've got a lot of upgrades we need to do. Um, we'll do that for the energy upgrade. We'll get that to number five. Um, da, ba, 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 ba. The force field monitoring, uh, operating mimicry mode with the mass perception ability. Uh, we do need to. We do really need to kill the bosses soon. Uh, da, 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 da. Proficiency growth rate with weapons. We don't want to. I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, we will grab this guy and we'll grab this guy. And what we'll do now down here is start unlocking some of these guys. Um, we do want to grab as many of these as we can. Hidden Assault. Can we grab the Mimicry mode? We can't because we haven't got any blue crystals. Uh, so we unlocked all those guys. I think that should be enough for the moment. Uh, let's do this one. Repair it. Uh, deter. Enhance. And we can't... Oh, we haven't got any green crystals left. So I haven't actually upgraded that for a hell of a long time. So now we have more of those upgrades. Uh, we're actually just going to go out. We're going to take Clifford, the big red dog... And we're going to head down. We Actually, we'll go to this tin ore mine here and then we'll jump to the copper mine and we'll grab as much as we can. And also, I'll be able to show you how you can basically do in any of the minerals like uh, the ores are actually some of the best ways to gain XP. It is the best way to gain XP. Even on official servers, it is one of the best ways to gain XP. Uh, let's get some of these bone hatchet uh, pickaxes out. 
And as you can see, if you look in the bottom left there, there is you get an insane amount of XP. This is standard rates. This is actually less rates than on the PvP servers. Which is why I never understood why people were complaining about how slow it was to actually get to max level. If you just only cared about what you're doing... Um, we're going to have to go inside in a second. If you only care about what you're doing, and that is leveling, you can get your awareness to 60 real quick. Like, you get so much. And when you get to the iron and the salt ore and all of that sort of thing, it just goes higher and higher and higher. We need to kill these dogs in here. Hello. Come here. I'm just going to walk up to you slowly and just murder you real quick. Thank you very much. What happened to the spear proficiencies? Why did that smash up so quickly? That was weird. I'll have to have a look at the settings. Nothing's changed on here, though. I haven't changed anything. Like, that's going up really quickly. Maybe it's just because of the actual level. It's a low level, maybe. And because these guys are high level? I'm not sure. I don't think there's anything actually to do with that. I think I was just talking out my ass, But... I haven't touched it, so I'm not sure why the proficiencies are going up so down quickly. I will double check that, though. That is weird. Uh, so, what happened there? Like, that was like English weather. That is completely British weather, where it's raining one minute, and then it's summer for a week and a half, and then it rains for nine and a half months. At least it's a bit clearer now, and we haven't got that rain completely in our eye. But as you can see, like, if you're going through and you're clearing out the tin, so we're going to fill up the tin first. And then what we'll do is we'll get them to start grinding out. Uh, we'll do uh, three. Um, I should really have done six of those. Um, I should really have done six of those things, to be perfectly honest. Six of the furnaces. So we can do three on tin, three on copper. And then I'll have one guy just banging out bronze. So we can have uh, three to one. Uh, two to one was all you really need. So I could actually just do two tin, two copper, uh, two tin, two copper, and then have one on bronze. That actually sounds pretty good. That might be a good way to level our XP up as well. But like the leveling goes up so fast. Like one hit is takes up a big chunk of percentage. Like if you look at the bottom, it's moving up, and we're at thirty right now. I mean, it does take time, a few hours, and I would be literally forty, forty-five, like not even a few hours. It would be really, really quick. But this is a really good way to get XP for yourself and for like for your awareness levels, for your mask, for example. This is the best way to do it. Right, I think we have a decent amount. I'm just going to fill my bag of this tin so we're not sitting there just smashing out all the time. Then we'll go get the copper from the other one so we can get our copper, uh, our bronze arm, our bronze weapons, bronze tools and that all on farm, like on grind, so I can show you exactly how to do that. Uh, let's just hit this one more node. It's just such good XP. It's just really, really good XP. Right, let's jump on Clifford, the big red dog. And we'll head back outside and we'll drop this tin off. I should have really emptied it because it's going to respawn by the time we next time we go in there. But I just want to get this going and set up. I want it to be done as quickly as possible. It's still drizzling outside. It's been raining here for like four days. My feet are absolutely destroyed. Like on another level of destroyed. So let's go. This Was these ones ingots? These were ingots. Yep. So these guys over here are the ore. So we'll go in here and we'll chuck this ore in here. And we got like 1,200. It's a pretty decent amount. We got some stone and stuff here we don't really need. Um, I don't have a box for stone, I don't think. Let's add the box for stone real quick because we do need... We have to plant extra over here because we have the plants over next to the kilns for the logs and branches and that. So what we'll do over here is go minerals and we will get rid of all of the ore. Let's just get rid of all of these and all of the ingots so they never come into these boxes. So the guy, the uh, NPCs never get confused. So everything else except what these are will now be in. If you like open it up now and you get rid of the ingot, you can see that it's only got all of the stuff that isn't ore and ingots. So we'll do that now and then you just enter it and you press G and it will drag everything over. I do need to make a box for other because I'm just carrying around a lot of random ass stuff. Um, other, 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 other. There we go. And we'll have that there and just go bong and that's all in there. And let's go get our... Uh, blah, 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 copper. We'll head up and go get our copper, and then we'll set up the ingot farm. Uh, I'm hoping that by the time we come back, our loggers over there will have enough in there to start doing the kiln farm as well. There's an anaconda over here. Hello, Mr. Anaconda. Um, I just it should be over here, just on the right, I believe. Yep. Let's just put a 
marker there so we can see it. Shortcut mark. Uh, there's an alligator. Are you gonna you jump pretty damn far. Don't grab me, bloody alpaca. Clifford is gonna be in this series for the whole entire time. Like this Clifford the big red dog will be in there forever. Uh it should be up here on the right, the entrance. Or is it a bit further back that way? Uh, is it a bit further up? It can't be up. It shouldn't be up. It should be down here. I've done it loads of times. Why am I getting confused and lost? Oh, well, it is me, I guess. I do that a lot, to be perfectly honest. Getting stuck on trees and everything all the way along the way with my scuffed gameplay as someone... To, like, I couldn't even argue with that assessment of my gameplay. Um, is that over here? I don't... I, I'm not very good at the uh, uh, combat uh, in general. Oh, God, there's a Jaguar there. We... Did it even not attack us? That was weird. Are you coming after us, Mr. Jaguar? No, it didn't even see us. What a strange moment in my existence. We would have been able to kill it regardless, but it would just... Oh, God, it didn't even hit it. Don't attack Clifford! Bloody bush dogs. Right. Uh, da, da, da. Let's start farming these out. And you still get a pretty decent amount. We just got a level on the character itself. We should really be using this on uh, our bow guy. But I want him to just sit there and level with the copper and the tin ingots. I might stick the bow guy on bronze, uh, the bronze ingots, because it does give more XP. And it is, at least so far as I've tested, it is better. You get more XP with the ingots by far than with the um, than with the kilns. Because like I had, in on the previous game I had, I had one guy on ingots that was just doing tin and copper ingots. And I had it on a 300 cycle Um on the the cycling way of doing it so you press d you go in press the settings and then cycle every three hours to do 300 ingots for example and that guy ended up being 50 before the other guys even hit 30 but i do need to go like test it out completely so that's something that we will do now we're about to get attacked by bush dogs bush doggies are you gonna hit there you are come here there is an elite bush dog in here somewhere so we're gonna want to be a little bit careful when it comes to that. Let's see if we, are we going to get him? Oh, I actually managed to hit someone with a spear. I'm only good with the great bow. But at least we got like that one set of copper armor. It's a good way to do it. Just remember that like, it's actually quite difficult in there. But the boss itself is really easy. It just does one attack that grabs you, spins around and throws you. So you can just dodge it all the time. It's not that big of a deal to be perfectly honest. Let's... Fill up our bank full of this copper. Come on, Clifford. We're off ski. We're going to go and grab all of this stuff that we can grab. Get some decent silver ore in here. But you can just break down. When you're killing bosses in places, they drop the silver trinkets and gold trinkets that you can break down into gold and silver ingots. Oh, uh, come on. So, I don't know, how long have I been recording for? I've been recording for 19 minutes, and I'm already at 31. So, like, yeah, you'd be in 40 in two hours. No, uh, no bloody stamina. I'm also can still losing my voice. Uh, coming from the hot country back to the cold country has really done me one over. And my feet are killing me after today, running around for nine hours. It's been a long time since I've done any of that. That so was, uh, yeah, there was, there was some pain involved. Let's uh, get this done. Come on, just a little bit more. We only need a little bit more. Because I just want to make enough to make some sets of armor. We should really be uh, using that. Do I have a knife? I should have a knife. Uh, no, I don't. Why don't I have a butcher's knife? That's bad. Could have used that to get some more rough leather and stuff. Because we will need that as well. Dun, dun, dun. I think that's enough. We'll do that for now. And we'll head back with Clifford, the big red dog. What was the theme tune for that? Why can't I? I can't seem to bloody remember it. Right, let's try and get past this Jaguar without getting manhandled. He's there. What level are you? 21. Go around this way. I'd rather jump out of the way of an alligator. Don't die, Clifford. Don't die. Falling off a of cliffs is a speciality of mine. I need to get rid of that base location thing because we don't need it anymore. There's the alligator. We don't need that anymore because we have the bonfire up. I do need to change it. Change the name. I thought I did. Maybe it just didn't save. I changed it to Bronze Age. Because this will be the Bronze Age base. And then we'll have the Iron Age and the Steel Age. 
But I'm hoping that we just can build upon the iron base because you can just jump from... By then we'll be jumping from portals and teleporters and stuff, so it won't be that big of a deal. Right, let's get in here. Drop these off. Let's drop those off. We'll go over to... Why is everything damaged? I don't understand why everything is damaged. Nothing happened. There's no rain gone on it or anything, so I'm, I'm really confused as to why it keeps bloody doing that. Um... It's actually kind of annoying. It's only really happened the past... I think it was update 10. I Literally, because you can see most of the stuff is fine. Where are you going? Don't follow. Uh, right, so we have... Where's the branches box? Let's see how many branches we got here. We've got a decent amount. But we also need to get our laborer to move from the logging camp. So the logging camp, you can actually set up a lot of different things with the logging camp. This has got a lot of stuff in it. So we'll grab some of this. Um because they're going to be using it to light the fires and the kilns because we will be putting some people on kilns as well because it's far more sustainable i can do it for myself for right now but what you can do is actually go in if you go into the i button and go in here and you just click on the laborer just to show you how you're able to do it you can go on here and it says operate workbench you go to uh withdraw items withdraw items from your logging yard uh and then you can click in here what you want withdrawn from there we'll say logs uh, you click on logs and then you click how many of the quantity and then you you press E you save that one And then you'll start another one that store items and you want to this is where you want to name your wooden chests So you pick the wooden chest that you put your logs in and you click log and then it will put it in there and uh, Work goals logs and it will drop it off in that box and it will move back and forth when it has nothing else to do Dropping off the logs that it's got from the logging camp um, You can do that every Right, there's a way to to get a far longer distance, but it does have a cap on how many times you can do it. So you can put a logging camp all the way over there, for example, 300 meters, and then 60 meters away, you'll put a little square with a box in it, and you'll drop, withdraw. Another one, box, drop, withdraw. Another one, box. As we just, as I just showed you what to do there, you can get that. And people were actually like around the in the beta, they were trying to get that as a way to get your workers to move from one base to another by doing box to box to box to box to box like have it moving and then they, they tried the patrol routes and stuff and it didn't really work out um because it does have a limit at the end i think the closest someone got was like 300 meters but most of us need to move 1000 meters plus to actually get anywhere right so let's drop these off in here we'll drop these logs off in here right we're gonna set up these guys so who do we want on this first one we want to level our bow guy, but what I'm going to do actually, because this guy is an armor crafter, so the AC Alk is maybe on the work break because he's an alchemy. So we'll stick the AC Alk because we want to see if he has what we need. On this one, we're going to put the weapon crafter because we need to level that guy. On this one, we're going to put our... We want to level the kiln guy. We want to see what he gets out of it. Uh, we already put this guy on the we'll stick this guy on here for now uh no mm, yeah we will why not uh on this one we're gonna put the bow guy and on this one we're gonna put uh where's our miner where's the miner we want to level him because he's going to be in a dangerous area so we want to have him at max level now all of these now should have uh what is going to be our uh, five different NPCs and what we're going to do now is we're going to go inside and we're going to go over to here so we got copper ingot we're going to go D once D is started we're going to go over here and click the cog we're going to put 200 and we're going to do 200 every 30 minutes you want to keep coming to have a look at this to make sure that it can be like uh, that you're fill fulfilling enough and there's not enough breaks in between it takes some tweaking i like to sit here for it at the moment to try and get it as uh, close as possible so we're going to do this one again put it to 300 and save oh sorry 200 you can change it uh just normally we'll put this at 200 save don't need any more than that right this guy over here is just going to be our bro wait which one was this is the 120 bow we're going to do this as our bronze ingots so our bronze ingots we're going to set that and we're going to do that at 100 every 30 minutes and we're going to start off with just the 100 on this guy we're going to change to um we're going to do tin 
And we do the same again, go in here, and we're going to set this up as uh, 200 every 30 minutes. And on this one over here, we're going to set this one up as, again, this one's the kiln guy, which we can use anyway for this. Uh, tin ingots it was. And we'll set this up at 200. We don't want to do 1,200 because you can't. It's 900 and that's it. We need to go into this and save. Now you could just, what I, did, what I did just there was just put it in here and then click that and press save and it will be able to give you a starting stone. But what we're going to do with this guy, actually with the bow guy over here, with the bronze ingots, we're also going to add silver, gold, um, and we're going to put this and it's going to check, it's going to check whether it can do it every 30 minutes. And if it can't, it just skips it and goes to the next one. So we're going to put this up here. We're going to put 100 because we do have, uh, we can craft silver ingots, we can craft gold ingots. So we're going to get these guys, and now they're all going to be working away. Where's our bow guy? 120 bow. Do you, can you do it or not? Why are you not doing anything? Let's see if we put this up first, if it's going to change his mind. Or is he literally just on work break? Now, a way to find out why they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. If you go in here, you go to work, you go to managing tables, it's ongoing, it's heading to furnace now. So sometimes it just takes a little while to update. He's going to go and he's going to grab the silver from the other's box and some wood to get these guys going. And they're going to start leveling. Now, this guy is just leveled up already. He's at 15. Let's open up this furnace and see how many he's done. He's made six. See how quickly it does when it goes to 16. I could just go in there and show you how much XP it is. Like, for instance, if I go in here and just uh, control. And I go and press E and press space to operate it. We can then see that every ingot is making. And it's pretty, once you get more, because what you want to do is actually put it into perception. You get 200 every time it crafts. So when you go into here and we have some level stack allocation, sorry, not uh, perception, you want to put it into agility, which raises the production efficiency. So it makes everything quicker every time you do it. And obviously while he's leveling his kiln, if we go into proficiencies over here, uh, while he's leveling this kiln up, the higher level it goes, the quicker it gets because you can go in here. Because uh, the output's fine, especially when you're doing the steel and all of the other stuff like that. It's good to have the um, output up. So the smithing smelting speed's good, but the smelting output, the higher chance to get double ingots is really good later on. But right now, it doesn't really matter that much. We can just do smelting speed. We're not going to do any of that, though, um, right now. Let's jump out of this guy, go back into the depressed, miserable sovereign. And you can carry on having fun with your kiln. There you go. Right, these guys are actually putting in ingots. He's making the silver ingots over here. And how is he leveling? And then what we're going to do with these other ones, all these other guys are idling. So we've got the 120 cook. Let's open up the craft here. We'll put the 120 cook into this one where are we because we just want to we just want to level them up see what they get out of it he's on a work break because he's not doing anything right now uh we're gonna set up charcoal and we're gonna set it up to be because we're gonna get decent amount of wood 500 every 30 minutes he's gonna check on that one now what who else do we have downstairs uh we have the arm craft who's already 50 we want to get our 120 gauntlet guy up for the slayer so what we're going to do over this side is stick in here and we're going to go to 120 gauntlet and jewel blade, which can, jewel blade's actually pretty decent to be used against the uh, saber tooth, but there are much better ways of doing it. And we're going to put that at 500 every 30 minutes. So we, the demand can keep up because we haven't really got enough going right now. Uh, why are you just standing inside? Oh, he's going now. Uh, sword 120. We'll level up the builder as well. Because we are going to need charcoal eventually. I mean, we only need a couple of boxes. So we'll just level up our builder at the same time. Go over here, press D. Go here and put in 500 every 30 minutes. And as I said before, this is just good what you're going to be wanting to do when you're just starting out. So you can see how many you're getting from that. Now these guys are going to start running around and doing their thing. Now we do have this logger out here who's clearing town in the woods. So we're just going to go grab whatever we can out of here. Uh, that's 86. Do, do, do. do we have enough space? We don't even grab that. So for right now, for example, I'll just do that myself. It doesn't take two minutes. You can run out, grab it, and you don't have to worry about the NPCs. Now, if you, when you want to fully automate it, which we will be doing in the future, when we get to the stone base, because wood has some issues with pathing and all that stuff. You can really only, I mean, you can set up the automation, 
on very high levels even in wood bases the thatch bases are a little bit funny sometimes and the roof pieces can be a little bit funny uh, but for the most part automation can be done we've got that sword guy we'll just level him anyway we'll just level him anyway okay sword 120 where are you there we go he's a maybe because he might not be good enough do some charcoal over here and we'll do 500 it's far more sustainable and only requires me to go and get the copper so right now we're running low on the copper ore and the tin ore so i'm probably just going to go and run and grab one real quick and go empty out the rest of the ore where is clifford the big red dog where you at clifford there you are thank you let's go on a merry little ray we'll go get tin real quick uh which is directly over this way our loggers out here just doing it we need to give him some armor and a weapon because jaguars do spawn and they can just murder jaguars like npcs can they have a good enough armor on there and everything like that it's really easy to do let's go and just see if we can empty out see if there's any more oh it respawned that's good times kill this dog and then we start doing the copper again now i'm gonna put a little skip in this bit here because nothing's actually gonna happen i'm just gonna grab and then we'll start heading back and get the copper i actually just realized that like i was on auto mode so when i was on auto mode i actually just realized that uh you guys actually asked me for the long long form stuff so well i'll just carry on recording while i'm gathering all the stuff we did just hit awareness 31 though which is nice and we're about five percent of the way through already uh let's grab up as much of this stuff as we can there is a better tin mine where we might be able to find uh, a really nice NPC, maybe a master hunter or something like that. We'll have a look if there's anything there. But I'm tending to find now that the master hunter, master guards and that are not very good. But that's because I think we need to go to the claw tribe and the uh, fang tribe to get the, um, the fighting NPCs. But for right now, Flint is fine. We have our 120 bowman and we're just going to level him up. Oh god, we, uh, literally I was like, why the hell did it just punch it? Didn't realize that it broke. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Do we have some more over here? We do indeed. We're gonna finish this mine, head over to the copper, grab that mine so we can have enough bronze ingots. And I think we actually need to go and kill some animals. Uh, some larger animals uh, to get some chunks and stuff to make leather. I, let me just double check. Because I haven't unlocked half this bloody stuff. Uh, where's the bronze gear? Uh, da, 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 what, what does it take to make that? Thick leather and coarse cotton. So we do need to actually set up a farm and stuff. Well. Oh, I forgot about that bit. But we could go get some cotton from the Flint Tribe place. Because you can get quite a decent amount there. I might already have a load, to be honest. We'll have to have a look. I have to look inside. I think I've got the cotton seeds. Maybe we'll just build up a farm real quick and set the farm up outside with the granary and get that going. We haven't got a farming specialist. That's something we do need to get. There's some boars out here. We should really be killing those. But I haven't got a knife on me. I'll go grab one in a little bit. Uh, heading. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a macaw. I thought it was poison frogs. We can kill that alligator and get his stuff later. There is a Jaguar up here. I forgot and I'm about to run straight into it. Where are you, Mr. Jaguar? Have you wandered off? Oh, we're all good. We're safe. We do need to grab a hell of a lot more of this copper because... Oh my god, it's right there. Why did? Why are you jumping out of the way? Why are you acting like uh, the Sabertooth boss? That was really weird. That was really... Did you see him doing that stalking behaviors? Is that something that changed? Was that an update I didn't check out? Like, that was actually absolutely like... It started stalking me. Normally, they just run and jump in your face. Why am I hitting a rock? What a waste. Let's grab all this copper up. There's quite... There's only a few outside, so you don't have to go in there and fight the bush dogs. But the, you need to go in there if you want to get any kind of decent amount. We do need to get the tools going for the copper. So we get the copper tools to get this in faster amounts, in larger amounts. We do then need to do that ASAP. Uh, where is there any more copper out here? Yeah, so I don't have to go that far inside. I want to get this guy set up and then we'll set up our farm. Should have done that before. That was kind of silly of me. We will need to probably put it on a platform because the ground is really not 
good enough around this area. And we're going to finish up grabbing the rest of this copper and head back. That should be a decent amount for them to get going at least. Let's grab the last couple of copper nodes out here because we're running out of space. Yeah, I'm on. There we go. All right, let's get on Clifford. What do you want, Bush Dog? You're just coming out of his own to have a little quick look at us. I do eventually also need to get the pens up and running. Um, I'll get the pens up and running. They are quite large, so I probably will need to. Let's go down this way. Don't jump off cliffs, Clifford. Not a good idea. Oh, piggies fighting crocodiles. That's what you see in the wild. You actually do see stuff like that. I actually watched a crocodile grab a leopard once out of the like. He was just having a little licky lick, drinking a little bit of water, and then literally just dragged it under and death rolled it. Poor guy. But absolutely flabbergasted. It was confused. Like he had no idea why it was just going missing. Right, that should be enough to keep them going for a little bit. Where is our 120 bow guy? And why is he not leveling? So he was at 15, now he's at 17. He was at 33 and 34 and we went out just for a couple of minutes. Uh, Clifford, stop following me. You're getting in the way with your big head. It's my fault. It's animal husbandry errors, not animal errors. I should always remember that. Uh, 120 bow guy, why are you sitting over here and why are you not enjoying your best life? Go to work, why not? Target is too far. Earth kiln. Why are you doing... Ah, because... That's why, Dave. He saved at the previous kiln. So he was like, I need to go over there, but it's too far away. Come over here, man. You just want to do this one. Taking care of it. Yeah, he's taking care of it. Tininga in your inventory. Okay. Because there's... No, there's no tiningas. Why aren't tiningas being made? Are you making copper? Copper. Bronze, tin. Why are you not making anything? Caretaker has insufficient fuel. Why the hell doesn't it have any fuel? You got loads of logs. What are you worried about? Why aren't you grabbing it? Enable 10 hours of your good times. Why are you not picking up logs? There's some funny shit that happens in this game sometimes. Uh, let's stick this in here. Uh, you're enabled. Mr. Bowman. Why have we only got... Right, so one tin there. One copper. One copper. And tin. He's, he's making loads of tin, but you're not emptying your bags, I guess. No, you're not. That's why there's no bloody tin. Everyone else is emptying their bags, and you're not. Let's go in here and just start emptying out some stuff. So they have too much weight. They can just make a load of it. But if you just press E on them, and they kind of reset, you don't have to pick it up. You just walk up to them, press E, come out, they'll run over. Press E, come out, they'll run over and drop off what they need to drop off. It's just a quick reset button. Now this guy's going to start doing that and he's going to start leveling. Uh, our AC guy actually hit 21. Did he grab anything? AC guy, what did you get? Uh, nothing. You got you got a red. You got an extra red. That is, that is, yeah, that's just, that is to be perfectly honest. Uh, this guy is not leveling right now because he's doing the uh, kilns and not the forges. The logger's leveling by doing his wood. Can't do any fighting. He's just got, this guy's got really good talents. I just wish he had the speed and the 120 armor. But we'll, we'll get a unicorn eventually. We'll get the unicorn one day. I won't worry too much about it. Let's go over to our building area. And if we have enough, I don't know if we have enough. Uh, we do need to grab someone on a loom. We need to get a weaver. But we want to level these guys first. So I might actually just uh, try to grab... Clifford! Clean up your crap. Uh, why is this not building? Right, we need farms. Go in here. Uh, we can build them on our own. I think we have to build them on our own to be for farmland. We need to unlock clay, stone, and flint. Let's unlock this. Um, we'll unlock you. We... God, I haven't got that many points, to be honest. Seed collection, uh, granary, we need you unlocked. And the well, we also need you unlocked because we need to make some buckets, etc., which we will do. Now, let's make some farmland. We'll just make two for now. Uh, we're going to put someone on the crafting table. Who's got the best craftsman? Craftsman, craftsman, craftsman. Just see who's got the... I think the armor crafter, to be perfectly honest. Uh, armor crafter's on work break. 
we'll just use you for now and then we're gonna make a granary and we're gonna make a well let's see if we have enough to do all of these things uh we do actually need to make um what was it called uh no, it's not compost. What's the other? What's the, oh, I'm gonna, gonna lose my mind if I don't remember that name. We do need a feeding trough. I'm gonna grab a feeding trough, and we do need a water trough. Water trough. Grab you. We don't have any planks and handles though. I haven't got anything set up on that automation front because we're just doing the XP stuff. But you have built some farmland. Do you have enough? You need hardwood planks and thick rope. Okay. Hardwood planks and thick rope. Let's go over here and we'll start crafting some hardwood planks. Uh, we'll do that. Wooden handles. We'll do some of you. What we'll do is just have 300 of you for now. We don't need that many. We're going to do... Uh, let's do 50 of you. 50 of you. If you're going to do it. Are you going to do it? No. Nope. Okay. 50. 50 of you. And what was the other thing we need? We just need a couple of these. So we'll do 300 of these as well. And that's all we're going to need for the moment. Uh, we'll put these up here. Do you have enough? Unattended. Let's go put the armor crafter on here for now. Because he's going to jump on here and do these. He's going to then jump on there and craft those. Uh, what else do we need? For the granary, we just needed harbor planking. We need to make thick rope. Uh, let's go over to the loom. We can get someone over here to do this. Do we have anyone on a work break at all? Not doing anything? The miner's not doing anything. Uh, that they're collecting in a wild. Let's get our laborer over here. We'll get the logger back. We'll get. We'll stick the logger. Mm, 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 mm. Stick you on here for now. What we're going to do is uh, thick rope. And we're going to put that up. And we'll get 300. We don't need that many right now. So you're going to be taking care of that. We'll go outside and put the logger on the logging McJoggy. Move a bit faster. Why are you running so bloody slowly? We need some food, actually. Right, let's go out to the logging camp. We'll change the logging to the logger, which should have been done in the first place, but I only had the laborer here at the time. Put you on there. Uh, we'll go into here. We'll go to the laborer, because the laborer is just going to do laboring work. There needs to be odd jobs. That's going to be his job. Go to work. Manage crafting tables, just a loom. For now, sweet as. Just keep it that way. We'll grab the wood while we're here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Leave everything else in there for now. We don't really need any of that. And we'll start putting these in the boxes. There we go. That should be enough for everyone. We do need to stick the rocks over on the other side. Now, what else was needed for our building? Uh, da, 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 uh, no hardwood planks, no thick ropes. He's on the loom over there. This guy, you need thick rope, logwood, hardwood, logwood, hardwood, thatch, and clay. Uh, we'll go out and grab some clay because I don't think we have any. So we'll go do that real quick. And that should be enough to build all of the stuff that we have outside for the farm and we'll probably put like a couple of farms along here in a granary outside we don't need to have anything protected just yet because we're not farming as many npcs so our heat isn't going up very much uh but they are crafting a lot so it does go up and when you're doing the kilns and all that sort of thing it does go up quite quickly but i also have a plan to do a video on defenses and the best way of doing defenses because i have oh jesus what do you want crocodile that didn't that didn't do anything at all ow just die you're just, you're just gonna die anyway so just die quicker like this literally the reason for your existence i didn't get a bloody knife again because we need to get a knife i'm gonna set up a capybara pen i'm not gonna bother with the turkeys um not for the minute because they're a bit of uh there's something wrong with them at the moment there's an issue with the turkeys where they're not doing what they're supposed to do they're not breeding at the moment i don't know if it's my save or anything like that oh but it's on a, a, a different server that i'm playing on the turkeys just aren't doing anything uh we need to go to the tools box i don't even know where i was just going so i can get And we're going to go outside and get this guy and get our... I don't think he's... I think he's just going to give us crocodile skin. What happened there? I just lagged backwards. Rubber banded. 
Uh, beast bone, fresh meat, and it's just got uh, alligator carcass chunk, which we can turn into skin. Uh, we need what? Well, where is the um, play gone? A bit there, but I haven't seen too much of it. Perfectly honest. Uh, I don't even think we're going to need that much more than this, to be perfectly honest. I think we're just going to need what we have here. So we're going to grab what we have here and head back inside. And hopefully a lot of the stuff that's being made has been built. Uh, we do need the other... We do need to grab... Do we have... Where's the, the other rock? Like, over here, minerals. So we'll stick the clay in there. That should be enough for him to crack on and go and do his thing. What are you still crafting? Planks. We're not going to need that many. That that was too many. I, I made too many. Uh, we're going to do... Let's, can't, let's X that off. X that off. There we go. Now let's go do the hardwood planks. Get rid of that. Don't need it. We're going to go grab some hardwood planks. And you're going to start making our farms. And we're going to put someone on the farm. Probably the laborer because it doesn't require that much attention. Uh, we'll put the granary here for now. Actually, we need to go check the box to see what uh, we have in here. What do we have? We have cashew, corn, and papaya. I have no cotton. I'm going to have to go grab some cotton afterwards. I'll grab it after this video. It's not good because I have to go back to the bloody flint tribe place. Maybe there's something there that I can grab. We do have our two fields, so we'll go place them outside real quick. Or not, because, I don't know, that's another thing that I'm going to add to the video on what we need to have. And um, what needs to be changed in the game. Like, just, it's not anything big, it's just some quality of life stuff. And it's not to make anything easier, it's literally just to be a better game. Right, let's put this one here. Oh, we can't place it there, okay. We can place it, but it's going to be raising off the ground. Uh, don't like when it does that sort of thing. Bit more rubber banding. We'll put you. We'll put you there. Let's put you there. We'll get. We're gonna pick you up because I want to try and get these guys next to each other. Let's try here. Yep, that works. Okay, sweet as. Got two farms settled down there now. We do need to get the cotton on the go so we can get all of our guys bronze armor, bronze weapons, bronze tools. Uh, we need the wood. We've got the wooden handles and that getting made. All that stuff's getting done. Granary, well, and that is all getting made right now. We have the hardwood planks, but you're making those, young sir. Are you not? Yes, you are. We'll have enough hardwood planks to crack that out. And then I'll have that also. I will set up the farm in because I need to go get some seeds. Uh, I'll go get some seeds because those seeds uh, do come from certain locations, but it's going to take a hell of a long time to get over to those locations to get those seeds, and you might not be able to get them. Uh, I don't know why I'm using a hammer on a bloody clay node. Uh, it might be a bit of an issue. So, I'll probably do setting up the farm in the next video as we're going to... I will go get the seeds. I'll show you where to get the locations for the seeds that we need. Um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, and that should be the last one before we start killing the bosses. I really hope so because I just need to get the bronze gear. I've got the armor. We can go do it now if I just was able to make the bronze great bow. Because I need to make one of those. And then we'll sort it out from there. Right, my voice is absolutely dying. Um, I'm going to have to put a cut in there. We'll set up the farm. And then we'll finally have our bronze stuff going. But that's basically how we've set up our basic levels of automation. From doing that. But at the moment there's a bit of manual stuff that needs to be added in there. We do need to go put a mining excavator next to the copper and the tin and we'll get that and I'll show you how to set up how to get a guy, your laborer for example, to run over and pick up all the copper from there bring it over here, grab up all the tin from the, the other one and bring it over here. We do need some more tribesmen to do that. So I'll probably pick up a couple of crappy guys, some laborers and some porters uh, get those to come in here and start doing those bits of work um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, let me know if there's any changes. I want to know if there's anything that needs to be done, what we can do with some up there. That would be quite nice to change that up. Uh, if there's anything else that I missed or if there's some new ways of doing things, please let me know down in the comments. That will really help everyone and myself out a lot. I really appreciate those kind of things. Remember that we do have the PvP server up and running and remember to like and subscribe if you do want to see some more of my content. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams. 
I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy